Hey there, I'm Thomas Michaud. This is part of my 30-day guitar coaching challenge. Today we're on day six. So today's question is, what is a good warm-up exercise or routine that I can use as a beginner when I'm practicing guitar? So I'm gonna answer that question by giving you a specific exercise, and I'll show you how to do it. But first, let me talk a little bit about warming up. The first thing I like to do is to stretch. And my favorite stretching exercise is this one. If you have to pick one, this is what I'd recommend. Now you're stretching the muscles in your fingers that is a good counterbalance for doing a lot of this. So I'll do this for maybe a half a second, I mean minute, <laughs> not half a second. And uh, that's the basic exercise, nothing magical about it. Just do this until you feel a stretching. And then I like to do the thumbs a little bit because my thumbs get sore sometimes or my wrist, and this kind of stretches both just a little bit. And again, half a minute or so. I'm talking minimal just to get things moving. Now, the purpose of warming up is threefold. First, of course, you're gonna warm up your muscles. That's pretty obvious. But second of all, you're going to kind of get your mind focused and be present. You're gonna get a lot more out of your practicing if you put yourself and be present in that practice mode. And that means kind of letting go of stuff before and whatever's coming after. And the third is you're gonna start off your practice session with good technique. Now, in fact, this may be your best opportunity to really pay attention to your technique and it'll kind of carry you through the rest of your practice. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Let me go ahead and show you that warm up exercise that I promised. This exercise is simple, but very effective. And not because there's anything magical about the exercise. It's because it's simple enough to give you the time to put your attention on all the little details that will carry you through the rest of your practice. Let me show you the exercise and I'll explain more. We're gonna start on the sixth string of the guitar. So I'm gonna play the open sixth string. Then I'm gonna put my first finger on the first fret. Then comes the second fret. Third fret. Now I want to stop there and go on to the fifth string. That's the A string. And then the same thing. First fret. Second fret. Third fret. All this time I'm paying close attention to where I put my fingers. I'm going slow enough that I can do that. In other words, I'm putting my finger close to the fret close enough to where I don't have to press too hard. I'm paying attention to how much pressure I put on my finger, just enough to make the note, but no more, I'm not clasping. So we do the same thing going through all the strings. And that's how you start. Then you do the same thing going backwards. Now I'm gonna play the entire exercise all the way through. Now, here's the things to pay attention to. As you go through the exercise, make sure that your thumb is behind the neck and then it's relaxed. If you find you're getting tense, go ahead and stop, shake out your hand, adjust your posture a little bit, shake out your shoulders, and then start again. Go slow. The point is to pay attention to the details, where you put your fingers, how much tension you're putting in, how much pressure. Make adjustments as you go along. Do the best you can to keep your fingers close to the fretboard and not popping out as you go from one note to the next. Now over time, you can up the ante a little bit by going one way and then the other way. So in other words, I'd go all the way through the exercise and then come back to the lowest string again. The next step could be getting that pinky involved. Though I will warn you that it's a bit of a stretch from here to here. I often start students with a little different exercise, same idea, but I start up here because the frets are closer together. Remember to go slow. This is the important thing. You gotta pay attention to details or you're not getting anywhere near the full benefit of the exercise. So in general, I'd like to warm up for about three or four minutes for a 25 minute practice session. Of course, you can warm up more or less depending on the situation, the day, <laughs> the mood. That's all I got for you today. If you appreciate what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. And you know, I'd love to hear from you. How do you feel about warming up before you practice? Have you found it helpful? Do you have any particular exercises you'd like to share? I'd love to know about it. Let us know in the comments below.
I'll be back again tomorrow. Hope you can join me. Bye.